HDTV with Illingworth and Gregory with David Wagner after two games in what's been a very busy Saturday afternoon but a productive one. How satisfied are you with what's happened all the way through the day today? No, I'm I'm happy what what I've seen today. I think it was a, a step, a big step to be fair. In our pre-season it was uh, more or less what I expected. We played two very good sides with uh, Girona, a side who got promoted into La Liga, and Barnsley, we all together know how strong Barnsley is. And we uh, were able to give nearly every player 90 minutes in his legs, so they were able to make another step in building up their match fitness. But as well, I've seen very, very good defensive shape from both teams. We were very difficult to break down. Uh, we we had good distances between the players, uh, the working attitude, the togetherness, which what you have to have to play this identity, this terrace identity, and we have shown a big part of it today in both games. Uh, there you have to have this togetherness. So there were a little, uh, a lot of good things. We scored two wonderful goals. I think especially in the second game against Barnsley in the second half we had a lot of more opportunities to score but I don't like to moan I think I'm not able to ask for more at this stage of the preseason what I've got from the players it was a very good day for us I, I was very satisfied with with what I've seen. I think the measure of control we had over both games today was notable and, and, and a step against two good sides like you said. Is that the fruition of some of the, the tactical stuff that you do in early days in training now coming on, on the pitch, particularly getting the new lads used to what, you, what you're asking of? Yeah, I usually you like to see then in the pre-season matches what you've done in, in, in training and in the video sessions we already had and yes, we, we've seen a lot of this and I'm very happy as well that now everybody had 90 minutes in his legs because as I said at the beginning of the preseason after all the testings the results were so good that we were able to really start on a high point and this was why we after now two and a half weeks were able to give every player 90 minutes in, in his legs because they, they are fit enough to do it and you only can see mistakes or problems when you are tired or when you play against strong opponents, this is why we've done it today, play against strong opponents, play 90 minutes to make decisions with tired legs and as I said, this was good today, I, I was very happy, was very pleased with what I've seen and uh, two clean sheets, it's always good, we all together know results are not the most important thing in pre-season games, but if you can take victories, you take it and uh, this is what the players have done, so we've shown that they still have the desire or have the desire back that they play football matches to win it even pre-season football matches. Um, I think it's an important thing to say that pre-season obviously results you always want to win but you get the chance to try things in game and I think in both games today I spotted spells of the deep block towards the end of each half. You can, it's another time to, to try these things that you're going to need in the season, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. This is where pre-season games are all about. You have to use them if possible to work on different shapes on different uh, formations if necessary players playing on different positions so this is where you can do it uh, without the pressure of results and if you then are able to see a good performance even if you do some different things this only shows you how football intelligent this players and this group is and uh, how fit they are that they are able to transform what we've spoken about in theory and on the training pitch into a pre-season match. So like I always said, pre-season matches are the highest stage of intense of training sessions and this were today two very very intensive training sessions for us on the highest level and I was very happy with what I've seen. You can see the partnerships all over the pitch forming as well, so whether it's Schindler and Zanker at the back or it's Lover and Quanner on the left side, you can see players and, and combinations getting used to what each other do on the pitch, which must be really important from your perspective. Yeah, this is something where, where we've worked on, where we will work on, and as I said, this pre-season matches can show you on the highest level, on the highest intense level, if this works, and today it worked. 
I think we have seen some individual good performances as well. It's like always in preseason and in preseason matches, some players are a little bit fresher and show more in some games. In the next games, it's another one. At the end, I'm, I'm happy with what I've seen and I'm happy that everybody is healthy after this two games today. And this was today maybe the highest intense point of our preseason. Now we try to get more work into the tactical work rather than in the fitness work. And as well, we like to get then in the next three weeks uh, the freshness in our legs that we are as fresh as we can and best prepare as we can against Crystal Palace. Three weeks to go. It's a long time, so we have enough time. We don't have to rush anything. I'm, I'm very happy with uh, how the preseason works so far. It's a quick word on Jonas Lursel. He's come in. It looks like he's been here forever, David. He, he, the way he's commanding his box, his distribution in particular, which is very important for the style you want. You could see that in the, in the goal here today. Yeah, since the first day he came to, to this group, to this football club, played a major part. He is a very good goalkeeper and a great guy as well. Very open-minded, settled in very quick. I think he is full of confidence and he has every reason after his pre, how his preseason started to be full of confidence and he's shown it today again. <laughs> get his first assist today <laughs> for Huddersfield Town. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's a proper goalkeeper and we, we are very happy that we have him, have him here. And as a, as a striker and you're playing those days, talk about confidence. Steve Mounier must be a very happy man at the moment. Three goals in four games for the club so far. It's a perfect start really for pre-season. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, I, I, I was not comparable with Steve Mooney. So <laughs> this is quality and I was opposite of quality in, in terms of a striker. So, he has shown his desire to score goals, even if it's a pre-season match and even if it's 90 minutes plus, he likes to score goals. His link-up play was good today. I think we have all over the grass quality in our squad. Not only the first 11 we have seen today, two first 11. And yeah, we have, we have proper competition, quality and good characters. This is what I really like and what we need to play our style of football. And just a final word, you said everyone seems to have, have come through this 90 minutes earlier. Is Philip Billing OK? Because he came off a little earlier than expected. Yeah, he got a stamp on his toes. I think it's not a major issue. And Joe Lolly was a little bit more tired than the others. So this was why he came off five minutes earlier, but no major concerns. Excellent, David. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you.